feed is the world. Why that? As you know, everything is rapid, everything is fast with AI. Not only fast, it's ex exponential. So these are the AI projects on GitHub, but you can find plenty of these charts uh, on many aspects of the AI. Patents, startups, products, models, everyone is uh, applying AI on everything, they say. Maybe it's true. But for sure, the attention of the media, of the investors, of the researchers, of the developers are here. And every week, there are thousands of new AI models, usually language models these days. Uh, most of them are open source that are an alternative to the closed source, like OpenAI and Google. And all these open source models are in Hugging Face, that in case you don't know, it's the GitHub for AI. So in this talk, we are going to see how to navigate, how to browse Hugging Face to find uh, the models that are suit suitable for you, how to integrate and run them in your code for your ideas, your projects, your prototypes, because um, we are all in this adventure. AI is everywhere. So better to start sooner than later. So let me go to the screen sharing, and let's start from Hugging Face. So this is the uh, website. There are many sections. I invite you to visit them. But Today, we are going just to see models that, as you can guess, contains, expose all the models uh, in, the, in this hosting platform. And as you can see, there are more than 700,000 models. When I applied for this conference, it was in February, they were 500,000. So um, now, you arrive here essentially for two reasons. One is that you have read um, an article about the model that outperforms the other model, so you want to take a look. Or you have a problem, and you need something to solve it. So in the first case, you already know the name, so you, ju you just type, and you'll, and you'll find it, because everyone is here. In the other case, um, on the left, you have some filters. So you find what you need. For example, imagine that you want to summarize. You filter. Then you can, uh, you can see the most uh, recent, the most downloaded. Uh, and if you don't have any clue, you just uh, try to explore and find something. We'll see in a moment. Just notice that, uh, as I say, the, mm, the main players, the main actors these days are the language models. But here. You can find many other types of machine learning models. Um, reinforcement learning, regression, time series algorithms, so um, image, audio uh, models, and so on. Now, let's, see that, uh, let's say that um, you see something that could be uh, good for you. Let's take Mistral, that is one of currently popular models. Um, this is the home page for the model, so the, for the repo, like in GitHub. Here you, uh, you find the so-called uh, model card, that is the README with the instructions. With the, it explains how to use the model, some code snippet, and so on. You'll find uh, also the files. Like the, it's, it's a Git repo at the very end. You can clone it, fork it as usual and the, the pull request and the, f and the uh, discussions. Now, the model card is, a as is unstructured, but you can find some common information in any model. For example, the most important probably is the license. So pay attention to the license, like it happens in the software. So double check. In this moment, there, is a, there are a lot of uh, variation combinations. Actually, also, the open source uh, AI model definition is not ready yet. 
it will be by the end of the year. It, there is an open source, um, the, there is the open source initiative that is defining. So, uh, but for, for this talk, let's define as open source model any model that is in hugging phase. Now, this could be interesting for me. The first way to try this model is from here, from the model card. There is a preview. So this model is already served uh, as a service for free, at least for now. And I can uh, uh, just uh, try some input and see the reaction of the model. Here is text, uh, but uh, in other models you'll find uh, images, you'll find uh, audio directly here. So very first way to test it. So let's move on. Let's say, let's say that uh, I want to try this model in, uh, in my code. I have a, uh, let's say, a Python code. So let's try to, to, to use it and see if uh, the idea that I have uh, will work. I'm going to share you uh, some code that you will find here on my GitHub repo. This is a Jupyter notebook. Uh, I assume that most of you will know what the Jupyter notebook is, but basically it's a markdown document with uh, some code inside that you can execute. So it's a technical article explaining things with uh, uh, executable code inside. Um, and it's easily shareable and executable. So this is the uh, document with uh, some, with where you'll find all the explanation, all the details that uh, probably I won't uh, um, uh, say here. To begin to use a model, I need the model ID that it's basically this. is the path and the URL or just uh, here, yeah, I can copy. So once I have the model ID, I'm ready to go. I also recommend to uh, define uh, a format prompt uh, uh, function that given your prompt in English, like in this case, give me the recipe for the pizza, returns the prompt formatted for the model because each model has uh, some syntax. Uh, they need uh, to add some prefix, some suffix. So once you have your model ID and your for format prompt uh, uh, function, all the rest of the code will work. You just change this and uh, you can quickly experiment the various models. And again, here the goal is quickly experiment and prototype. Running a model can be done in two ways, remotely or locally. So remotely is the <coughs> fastest way. Most of the uh, hugging face models are exposed as a service for free. You just need a, an hacking face account. In the document, you'll find how to run uh, them, uh, how to include the uh, API here. But for now, uh, it's free. I see for now because, as many of you probably know, there is a sustainability problem. So now everyone is, uh, is, is exposing, is, is um, creating services, but with time we'll see what uh, it works and what it doesn't, what is profitable, what is not. So, and also with the current hardware, there is a, uh, an energy consumption problem. So we'll solve it, but uh, we cannot assume that what we see today will work uh, even in six months because everything's changing so uh, fast. Anyway, running locally, I see the model. I want to try it. I import uh, a library from Face. I instantiate the client, I pass the model ID, and that's it. I can just call the input, the prompt, and get the output as a string that I can, in this case, print. As simple as that. It will take a couple of seconds, depending on the order button. In the sample, you'll find also the same uh, code using Langchain. It is a popular framework, but it's not relevant here. And it's not only about language uh, models and text. Again, here I'm using uh, and testing another model, text to image, that given a prompt, returns an image. And Jupyter notebooks are pretty convenient because the output uh, can be rendered here. So again, 
uh, ideal for experimenting and prototyping. I can't see the output without uh, libraries, uh, external libraries, or changing applications. Now, uh, let's say that the model is not exposed, not only, not all the models are exposed as a service by eigenface. Or, for privacy reasons, you don't want to use the service, you want to run it locally. You just change the, the uh, library. Oh, ah, help. <laughs> and here. Okay. So basically, this time we will use the transformers library still from Hugging Face. And we download, is this is the equivalent to cloning the repo. So given the model ID, uh, you'll download the, all these files that we have seen before from the Git repo. But, well, not all, but anyway, most of them, and there are gigabytes, sometimes uh, tens of gigabytes, sometimes hundreds of gigabytes. And the tokenizer, so in order to use a, local, uh, a model locally, you need the model and the tokenizer that uh, basically translates a string, the prompt string, to tokens. You know this term now that uh, tokens are numbers that are comprehensible to the model. Once you do this, this is one time operation, so once you download the model, you can disconnect your connection, internet connection, and from now on you can go local. And again, this is an example. Given a prompt, I tokenize, so I transform in numbers, and I call it. And the output that will be in token can be decoded to a string. And this is the same output, output before. Just notice that in this case, it took 52 seconds. Now, this Jupyter Notebook is using a Google Colab. If you have a Google account, you have this uh, uh, tool and th that is free and offers you a free GPU. So if, like me, you don't have a GPU on this laptop, you can use it uh, in Google Cloud. Of course, in that case, you are not local. You are on the Google Cloud. So your choice, depending, uh, the code that you see here can be run uh, on the Jupyter Notebook, or you can just copy and paste in uh, your Python terminal. And of course, you can set up your Jupyter Notebook locally, entirely locally. Final bonus. Again, it's not all the, uh, uh, about uh, text and language. Here, I'm using a text-to-audio model. It's Bark, it's pretty popular. So again, I first download all the files, and then given a string, and uh, selecting some parameters, in this case English, but Bark supports a lot of languages, I can uh, uh, see the output um, here, inside, again, pretty convenient. I change the inputs, I see the output, everything from the same environment. So, what we have seen, in summary. Thousand models every day on Hugging Face. You can run it as a service or locally, depending on, uh, say, all your needs, but you have uh, plenty of choices, uh, and uh, this is good when you are trying. You have maybe not clear ideas, but you want to try. Uh, Jupyter Notebooks are a mm, good environment that can accelerate your testing and your prototyping. Uh, remember that Google Colab currently, June 2024, is offering you a, a free GPU. There are other online, uh, uh, um, say, uh, similar websites or you can run everything uh, uh, local. And that's it. I tried uh, to find uh, an original quote for to end the talk, but I couldn't. So I took this existing and I changed it, or in honor to machine learning, I fine-tuned. So thank you. <laughs>